Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Follow my career Fakwa Freight, a subsidiary of SD Logistics as we continue our Conquering Britain challenge series and quite a challenge and quite a series it's turned out to be uh, We are in Dublin Ireland, I believe and um, we need to head out and find ourselves a jobby earn ourselves some money, so let's get on with it, let's get to it So initially I'd planned on getting us uh, an excavator to deliver down to Swansea, South Wales. But then as I was looking through the freight market, there was a job to deliver a cargo I don't think I've ever delivered. Uh, the thumbnail, we'll probably give it away, but <laughs> for, at the minute, in real time, surprise. Left. We'll see, I might use a different thumbnail. But yeah, never never done this cargo before, so we've got to go and grab it. Hopefully it's not too far. It's a shame that road is blocked. Look, because where we want to go on the sat now is over there. Which way are we going here? We've got a roundabout up ahead. I'm going to take this lane, though, I think. Unless we want to go right at the roundabout. sure if I'm going to keep the camera on for this whole thing or or just for the intro. I might just have it on for the intro. We'll see, we'll see what I feel like. Oh nice, we have the greens. See how I feel in editing. We don't normally run with the camera on so if it's if it's not there it don't matter. And we're coming off here. Anyway, I hope you're well, hope you're enjoying your Sunday. I hope the sun is shining for it. I'm recording this early on in the week, obviously. Um, we have sort of plans this weekend, and if the weather's nice, we'd like to obviously do things as well. So I thought I'd get one up on the schedule. I might have I might try and find over the coming weeks time to record a few of these and have on here. Uh, just so that if the weather is, you know, nice for us that we can do stuff when my partner's off. And I won't feel like I've uh, <laughs> abandoned the series or the channel even further than I already do half the time. Keep right. So not quite sure whereabouts we're picking this up. We're going right over. Uh, whereabouts we're picking this up? At the port, maybe? Maybe we're picking this up at the port. To try and save a little time on the on the journey, I'll, I'll bring you back once we're uh, once we've arrived at the pickup. Well, I remember to take the uh, the correct lane through <laughs> through, through port authorities. Didn't get stuck there this time. On the stream, I got stuck. I took the wrong lane. Had to do a little bit of uh, commands to uh, clear the traffic because it was just skewed up behind me and I had no way to go and he just wouldn't open the barrier for us. Turn left. Can we see our trailer? Oh, we can see our trailer. You haven't guessed, it's them caravans. Turn left. Don't think I've ever pulled caravans. We may have done, I don't recall. I don't want to gate for us before I are. get on it. Sound. The Telmondo group. Where's the little thing? Am I on it? Alright, oh, a little word. Paperwork's been sorted. That is our trailer. And we're going to be taking these to Carlisle. So although we're at a port, I think we've, I think we've got to drive up to uh, Northern Ireland and, and cross up there. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for me, mate. We're waiting for me. I am going to get rid of him soon because he's getting ever so, ever so, ever so testy. 
little bit rude. We are good for fuel. We fueled up last time out. It's pretty early. It was pretty early in the morning when we started. I was I was a little bit worried Turn that the left. job might disappear because it only had an hour left on it. We got there in time. It's now half past seven, so. Straight over at the roundabout. Exit now. So to Carlisle, but this might be a you know a reasonably length journey. I think we'll have a little look at what we got going on. But perhaps we're not. Perhaps we are. We're um, crossing here at the port. I thought it was going to take us back north. It might have looked like it was going to go back north again, uh, just because I was further north. Whereas now that I'm actually at the port picking it up, it's like, oh, there's a port here. Sat now, I've got smart. Now, on the last stream as well, we had a few issues. We, I, had a few issues in finding my, my port locations, the triggers, now that we be using the, uh, the little chevrons rather than uh, the massive glowy icons so keep your eyes peeled oh, I think we're actually going into into a port so that's alright excellent we'll have that we will have that I think are we going straight in? Let me just. Uh, there might be. No, nope, we aren't. We aren't going in. Well, we're sort of. There's a chevron over here. There we are. Pick a lane. Yeah, lovely job. So we're off to Hollyhead to start with. Uh, three hours. We'll get a little kip on that. Right, safely arrived. It's now 10 to 11 in the morning. So we've still got a, a nice nice bit of day driving. I was a bit, little bit slow pulling away. I was <laughs> I was looking so vain, as you can tell. I trimmed all my beard off this evening. And um, you can see the grey bits in my, <laughs> in my, in my jowls. <laughs> I don't think we go that way, do we? We go this way. Sort of directing us the wrong way, I think. Yeah, we've come back this way before we've uh, slept over there. So, yeah, I might have a little bit of camera for that since I was <laughs> pointing at me, at me jowls. It was, uh... it was the first time. Oh my god, what have I done? I've, I've shaved a massive chunk out of the side of my face, but I haven't. It is just grey. That's what that is. So once we get on the road, we'll have a little look at the actual delivery statistics. So I think I'll, I'll cut that out as I was arriving and loading in, because I was fiddling around with the trailer. Changing its colour and seeing if we could do other bits with it. As I often do. Yeah, it seems as good a place as any to have a little look, doesn't it? So, we are camper vans. Six tons of camper vans. Going to Carlisle UPS. Uh, expected arrival is Sunday... Uh, 125? Oh, it's from Sunday 125 to Sunday 805. Uh, so we've got 21 out. We've got ages to deliver this. So if it does fall into a bit of nightfall, we could maybe have a have a sleep on the way over. And uh, they're going to pay us 16 grand for the job, which is nice. Nice. There were some... Which I probably should have took some higher paying jobs. It was just pulling more of a basic cargo. Whereas it's nice to sometimes have, not that we see a lot of them, but it's sometimes nice to have something on the back that looks a bit different. A little variety.
We might have to find somewhere to stop for a little um, <laughs> screenshot. There's a gas station over here, I think it is. It's quite nice out here, actually, doesn't it? Very pleasant. We'll just take a little bit of curb there. As one does. Slow down as you come through town. Try to be a good citizen. Legally abiding. Law abiding. Legally abiding. Law abiding citizen. We're always trying, we just sort of bail at it a little bit too often. That seems to be the seems to be the case. So earlier this week we had a, a new farm stream series start. I'm gonna try and do that as regular as I can. That was on Moss Valley, so if you missed it, go check it out. We'll be streaming that again soon. I was thinking about streaming it tonight now, uh, but I did see on the social medias that three of the farm sim big wiggers were joining together to do a do a live stream to I don't know to spend two hours chatting about a one minute video and five slides that they've already dissected in like eight videos between them. So I figured, you know what, <laughs> that's where the audience is going to be. I'll, I'll record my truck. <laughs> that's what I'll do. But, but yeah, I'm enjoying... Uh, I enjoyed the Moss Valley stream the other night. I think it's a nice looking map. I have done a little bit of work off stream on that one to try and move things along because the next job was exactly the same as the job we've just done. It was a harvest and a bale. So I have finished the harvest and at this point I've collected up half of the bales. And for my next job, I don't need to have completely empty fields or bales sorted. So I'm sort of, I can leave them on there and I can jump on that throughout the stream or whatever. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll enjoy it and we can get some stuff done there. Don't know what's going on here. Have a word. Oh mate, there's no over, oh, no no overtaking here. We we got what are you doing? There's a policeman, and you're just now gonna do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, there's there's no overtaking. <laughs> Solid centre lines, mate. No overtaking. Ever next, whatever next. Don't think there's anyone down there. That'd be good. Yeah, so the uh, the trip to Carlisle, we're about five hours out, which IRL is probably about 30, 35 minutes, I think. I want me cheers, come loose. But yeah, the, with the uh, with the Moss Valley, uh, I'm going to try and let that be somewhat led by the viewers in in what we buy, what we plant, what we do to a degree. I mean. There's no point in everyone saying, plant potatoes, and we've got no use for potatoes if we want to do cows or sheep or whatever, so. We will have chickens, because chickens are easy, and I've already accidentally filled the chicken, um, or one of the chicken coops with feed, so we'll definitely get chickens. Now, I like doing dairy, and it looks like it's a dairy farm anyway, so. Although it's a setup for anything, you've got pigs on there, we keep saying we'll do pigs, so maybe chicken and pigs for a bit. It's just getting all the crops together to do pigs is often the hard bit unless we go the the buy pig feed route so that's that's probably something we can never chat about on stream on the next one uh, which might be the night of this i might try and stream that sunday night i did say i'd try and get it in sunday if i can so we may be on moss valley tonight so look out for that if you haven't already subscribe and turn your bell notifications on it's the easiest way to find out when we're going live although YouTube being what it is, it doesn't always send notifications out to people with uh, notification bells. More so, if you have your bell turned on and you don't actually 
go to that notification, eventually you stop getting notified. So that's one of them things. But like I said, I'm going to have to try and have a couple of these scheduled up uh, for a few weeks. So we might not be live on uh, on ETS. Maybe until probably this... Oh, I was going to say the second week of June, but I've got... I'm taking the boys to a birthday party for that, so that might be the third week... Of, I'll say June, July. Third week of July before we're back live. So it might be five or six... Pre-records for this. It does sort of slow the progress down because when we've been streaming, you know, we get in three, four, sometimes five jobs, and we're uh, we've been buying a truck pretty much every other, sometimes every stream. Now we're making the money, and we brought a new truck and hired a new driver at the end of last stream. That brings us up to a total of fourteen in the fleet, including me. So the money's going to be coming in. We've got uh, three garages in the UK, uh, two of which I believe are empty. One of them's only got one drive. But we've got two or three other garages out in Europe, which I'm not worrying about until we've sort of done this UK thing. So we need to... Um, I think I should build them out with drivers first. So they, they need three, so we'll put three drivers in them and then look to expand them and then look to buy new garages rather than trying to expand a garage and still having them empty I think it'll make more sense if we if we get the drivers in them earn the money and then expand them and then go out and buy new garages again let me know down in the comments if the camera's on I'm pointing um, <laughs> let me know down in the comments what you think Always looking for feedback. Always interested in what you guys think about it. We may have um, a little busman's, a busman's holiday in this series, just to sort of change it up a little bit, and have might do one stream where we head to France and back again. We have to get back to the UK within that stream, or head down, get a, a ferry into Spain and back again in that stream. We'll see, see what I can do with that. That could be a bit of a challenge. Once I get into Europe, it might be hard to get back. So, yeah, that could be something for, for later on, further into the summer. Again, let me know in the comments if you think there's something we should do. Because that will allow me to maybe take a longer or a couple of longer jobs which should pay us a bit more money to help us along a bit but as, as I'm, I'm thinking as long as we're back in the UK before the stream, stream ends then we're all good <laughs> now I've not updated my my ProMods I believe ProMods I'm sure Sumi Dad said that ProMods has been updated to work with the latest um, game update so uh, I need to sort that out as well we are still running on the older version we're not on 1.5 I think we're on 4.8 or 4.9 and if um, 1.50 is uh, West Balkans compatible as well then I'll, uh, I'll jam that in as well because I haven't added that to my game I haven't purchased it because um, it, it just didn't work with ProMods, ProMods overwrote it, so there was no point in, in having it. So if that's now into Cheshire, England, if that's, if that's now sorted, then we'll, we'll add that in as well. I shall have to investigate. It's all in my own Discord, but I can't read every ping that goes, goes in there. I could, but you know, no, one, no one's going to do that. But that is an important one. I should I should check on that stuff. I've been enjoying the now sorry, I'm sweating. It's so hot this evening. Absolutely melting. Um 
Yeah, I've been enjoying the NASCAR lately. Really enjoying that series. I know it's not popular on the channel, but if you want to see me thrack a, a car around a track pretty quick and um, crash and do all sorts of mistakes and poor tactical decisions, you should check out the NASCAR series. It's going to be running a while. And I've got other things I'd like to try and do within the realms of the NASCAR content, just because I'm really enjoying it, and just it, I think it's a little bit different. I know, obviously, amongst the community that I'm sort of part of, there's, there's no one that's doing it. Obviously, there's loads of people out there that do the NASCAR content. Did it a long time ago when the game was new, but I want to do this series and and build that up so that we have our own. Uh, cup team, at least our own cup team, and, and at least race one or two seasons with our own cup team. So that's going to be at least five seasons long in game, which is quite a bit. I'll do what I can to speed that along. Uh, some seasons, when we're racing, if we're racing for someone else, once we've already qualified for um, the playoffs, or if we've already qualified for the playoffs and we're quite secure, I might. Um, simulate some races, which will only probably give us sort of midfield finishes or whatever, depending on what the car is like. And every season we won't be running two competitions. So then once we make it into the cup, as long as we've won Xfinity, we, we won't hang around in Xfinity. If we don't win the truck the second season, we might drop that and go for the dirt because we had a lot of fun with the dirt and only recently the uh, the truck series dirt race went out and people enjoyed me doing that one because I was <laughs> quite competent at it um, so we might do the, the dirt series for one year see if we can win that at least win something the only issue um, I think I'm going to find is with the trucks with Xfinity and with the cup is that all the final races for playoffs are at Phoenix which is and it was actually a challenging track anyway um, I've watched some guys that are a lot more experienced uh, there's a chap I watch um, he's been playing NASCAR uh, since like the early 2000s and he goes back and he plays some of the old stuff as well and he struggles to win at Phoenix admittedly he plays on like the hardest or the one down from the hardest setting but still, he's he's finding that hard, and he can blitz all the other races. But Phoenix, he really struggles with. So I don't feel too bad that I'm struggling with Phoenix and some of the short tracks because the the more professional <laughs> NASCAR content creators out there uh, also also struggled with it. Well, as I do, I do have some ideas I'd like to do with that, which would be it would be definitely more orientated towards those that know a little bit more about NASCAR than the, than a complete casual. Um, but if you enjoy watching me do it, then you know, brilliant. Plus, you know, I can share what little knowledge I have of it with people. I mean, have some fun with it. I've gone and I found as many of the old games that I can for emulators so I've got most of those uh, the ones that I've managed to get to work and run smooth enough anyway so I might have some fun with them um, I've s slowly been picking up the, the copies or the, the more recent games that are on Steam sort of going back to 2015 if that's even, even considered more recent now since that's nearly 10 years ago um, so we might try and do some stuff with them which is quite a few games obviously I'm getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting into the NASCAR and I like watching it, I enjoy it and to start racing it and playing it has been fun so why not share that passion but like with many games I like enjoy doing, I'm not necessarily good at it and sometimes that's, that's part of the uh, part of the entertainment, part of the journey you know? me getting better and as I've been doing it I am getting better. Uh, my only thing is that I'm so far ahead on the series because I've enjoyed it and I've recorded so much of it that I'm, I'm taking a, a week off recording and <laughs> I'm going to go back and then I'm really going to struggle for you know <laughs> a few races. So I want to make sure I'm back 
sort of in the groove, as it were, by the time we get playoff season within the game. If I remember rightly, the last race that I recorded was an abs absolute shocker. Absolute shocker. And that's not out for about four weeks. <laughs> but I recorded that like a week ago. I haven't even edited it yet. So they're just sitting there. I've got so many. Uh, talking about the editing thing, um, I'm, I've decided I'm going to try and re-render re the SnowRunner in 1080p. Now that means it'll be the third time I've had to re-render the same three videos into a lower resolution. They started off at 4K, or they were in 2K, and I upscaled them to 4K. I've then I've tried that a couple of times, and it kept they keep failing on YouTube. I've tried redoing them at 2K, and they still fail on YouTube. I'm going to try this weekend because it puts my PC out, out, out of use while obviously videos are rendering. Um, I'm going to try and re render them, all three of them, at 1080p and see if YouTube will take them in, just in HD. Which will be a shame because they'll, like I say, they'll, they'll be a lesser quality. But that's the only, and that's the only thing I can think why YouTube isn't taking them. But all the others, all the other episodes in that series are in 4K, I think. And are, are, are rendered, are, they're, they're recorded, they are edited, they are rendered at my end in exactly the same format, exactly the same way. So why after 42, 43 episodes or whatever it is, they're now failing every time. They get to about 80%, maybe a little bit more sometimes, and then it just gives me the notification of um, render failed, or processing fails, but it fails, fails to process on their end. And it's not like it times out, they don't take a long time, or any longer than the others did. Yet in that same time, I've uploaded uh, truck videos, we've streamed trucking, we've streamed farming, I've uploaded uh, the touring car, I've uploaded the, the, the uh, Colin McRae rally, I've done, I've done those, and those those are recorded different. With you know, some changes to the software. And they were recorded after and they've gone up fine and I've started recording this and NASCAR a little bit different in the way that they're done just so I can do some extra things with it and uh, they seem to be going up all right we'll see with this but the other uh, NASCARs have gone up fine so why it is those three videos constantly fail to process it's bewildering absolutely bewildering and it's really it's just completely stunned at that series to not be able to get a video out for two, maybe three weeks by the time they do come out. It could even be longer. So uh, if you're watching this and you do watch the Snowrunner hard mode, I'm doing everything I can to get it up there. Yeah, it obviously has to, f to try and do it within the, the short time frame that I have, because I still want to try and <laughs> keep other content coming. Um, to do three hours of rendering all in one go would, you know, take my PC out of use for a, for a whole evening so that's that's why I and, it, and, it, and I've re and I've re-rendered them a couple well, I see last time I just did one of them I've re-rendered all of them twice and one of them three times so I've, I've lost evenings before that But my only worry is that the, the more time, because I've not got the original recordings, I'm having to constantly redo this, this same bloody one that went out the first time. So, I don't know. My worry is that it's going to look really bad. After it's been put through the render like four times, my concern is it's going to look really bad. But you, there's there's no rollback on on Snowrunner. Not that I'm aware of. You can't just roll back and save because it it auto saves constantly throughout your play. Like in the, in the hour that I record each episode, it probably saves like ten yeah probably ten times. So 
So there's certainly, to be able to roll back and start for all them, there's definitely, definitely not, you know, 30 auto save files somewhere. I don't think. If anyone does know how to roll back, Snow Runner, let me know. Because the next time I flip that bloody P16, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll F4 and roll it back. <laughs> But this has been a pretty smooth journey. Coming up on delivery as well. I might try and grab a screenshot here. This is quite quite nice here, isn't it? So we try and get a screenshot. Get ready to turn left. I will. I'll get ready. There we go. Whether I use the screenshot for this or save it for next time, I don't know. I might have a turn left. a backup image that I can use. To not give away the cargo. I, 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 sometimes when I stream, I try and grab shots so I can use them. Because if we do have a, an, ep, an episode like this where we pre record it, it's nice to sometimes have the cargo as a little bit of a surprise, especially if it is something like, you know, tractors, excavators, cars, you know, something a little bit more Get ready to turn unusual. Back. Or unusual for me. We do, we do a lot of. Um, Containers pulling used plastics and cardboard. <laughs> Turn right. Well, that didn't take too long at all, really, did it? About 30 minutes. We're pretty much here. It's not, not bad at all. I might have time to record next week's. Here we are clear. You never know, there might be someone like me on the road. Keep left and then turn left. We're going to a UPS, so this should be turn left. a pretty big site, I think. Don't want one of those arches again. We had an archway on stream last time. It was a pickup, thankfully, and not a drop-off. Trying to get in one of the arches can be a bit of a chore sometimes. Oh look, we could have had a, a shot from here without having to fiddle about too much. We'll have another one. Why not? It's easy one as well, straight on the side. We like that. What do you mean, kind of on time? We've probably got like 10 hours spare, if not more. Kind of on time. Oh, there us. Detach. Let's get our cash money. 16 grand, weren't it? Was indeed. 600 on the XP, so it gives us another level. We are up to Elite, and we'll put that into Fragile Cargo, but that is going to be it for another delivery. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.